Chapter 11, The Seven Yogi Developing Exercises The following are the seven favorite exercises of the yogis for developing the lungs, muscles, ligaments, air cells, etc. They are quite simple but marvelously effective. Do not let the simplicity of these exercises make you lose interest, for they are the result of careful experiments and practice on the part of the yogis, and are the essence of numerous intricate and complicated exercises the non-essential portion being eliminated and the essential features retained. 1. The Retained Breath This is a very important exercise which tends to strengthen and develop the respiratory muscle as well as the lungs, and its frequent practice will also tend to expand the chest. The yogis have found that an occasional holding of the breath after the lungs have been filled with a complete breath is very beneficial, not only to the respiratory organs but to the organs of nutrition the nervous system, and the blood itself. They have found that an occasional holding of breath tends to purify the air, which has remained in the lungs from former inhalations, and to more fully oxygenate the blood. They also know that the breath so retained gathers up all the waste matter, and when the breath is expelled it carries with it the effete matter of the system, and cleanses the lungs just as a purgative does the bowels. The yogis recommend this exercise for various disorders of the stomach, liver, and blood, and also find that it frequently relieves bad breath, which often arises from poorly ventilated lungs. We recommend students to pay considerable attention to this exercise, as it has great merits. The following directions will give you a clear idea of the exercise. 1. Stand erect. 2. Inhale a complete breath. 3. Retain the air as long as you can comfortably. 4. Exhale vigorously through the open mouth. 5. Practice the cleansing breath. At first you will be able to retain the breath only a short time, but a little practice will also show a great improvement. Time yourself with a watch if you wish to note your progress. 2. Lung Cell Stimulation this exercise is designed to stimulate the air cells in the lungs, but beginners must not overdo it, and in no case should it be indulged in too vigorously. Some may find a slight dizziness resulting from the first few trials, in which case let them walk around a little and discontinue the exercise for a while. 1. Stand erect with hands at side. 2. Breathe in very slowly and gradually. 3. While inhaling, gently tap the chest with the fingertips, constantly changing position. 4. When the lungs are filled, retain the breath and pat the chest with the palm of the hand. 5. Practice the cleansing breath. This exercise is very bracing and stimulating to the whole body and is well-known yogi practice. Many of the air cells of the lungs become inactive by reason of incomplete breathing and often become almost atrophied. One who has practiced imperfect breathing for years will find it so easy to stimulate all ill-used air cells into activity all at once by the complete breath. But this exercise will do much toward bringing about the desired result and is worth study and practice. 3. Rib Stretching We have explained that the ribs are fastened by cartilage which admit a considerable expansion. In proper breathing, the ribs play an important part and it is well to occasionally give them a little special exercise in order to preserve their elasticity. Standing or sitting in unnatural positions, to which many of the Western people are addicted, is apt to render the ribs more or less stiff and inelastic, and this exercise will do much to overcome the same. 1. Stand erect. 2. Place the hands, one on each side of the body, as high up under the armpits as convenient the thumbs reaching toward the back, the palms on the side of the chest and the fingers to the front over the breast. Inhale a complete breath. Retain the air for a short time. Then gently squeeze the sides at the same time slowly exhaling. Practice the cleansing breath. Use moderation in this exercise and do not overdo it. 4. Chest Expansion the chest is quite apt to be contracted from bending over one's work, etc. This exercise is very good for the purpose of restoring natural conditions and gaining chest expansion. 1. Stand erect. 2. 
Inhale a complete breath. 3. Retain the air. 4. Extend both arms forward and bring the two clenched fists together on a level with the shoulder. 5. Then swing back the fist vigorously until the arms stand out straight sideways from the shoulders. 6. Then bring back to position 4 and swing to position. 7. Repeat several times. 8. Exhale vigorously through the open mouth. 9. Practice the cleansing breath. Use moderation and do not overdo this exercise. 5. Walking exercise. 1. Walk with head up, chin down slightly and shoulders back, and with measured tread. 2. Inhale a complete breath, counting mentally. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One count to each step, making the inhalation extend over the eight counts. 3. Exhale slowly through the nostrils, counting as before. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One count to a step. 4. Rest between breath, continually walking and counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One count to a step. 5. Repeat until you begin to feel tired, then rest for a while and resume at pleasure. Repeat several times a day. Some yogis vary this exercise by retaining the breath during a 1, 2, 3, 4 count and then exhale in an eight-step count. Practice whichever plan seems most agreeable to you. Number six, the morning exercise. Stand erect in a military attitude, head up, eyes front, shoulders back, knees stiff, hands at side. Two, raise body slowly on toes, inhaling a complete breath steadily and slowly. Three, retain the breath for a few seconds maintaining the same position. 4. Slowly sink to first position, at the same time slowly exhaling the air through the nostrils. 5. Practice the cleansing breath. 6. Repeat several times, varying by using right leg alone, then left leg alone. Exercise 7. Stimulating circulation. 1. Stand erect. 2. Inhale a complete breath and retain. 3. Bend forward slightly and grasp a stick or cane steadily and firmly, and gradually exerting your entire strength upon the grasp. 4. Relax the grasp, return to first position, and slowly exhale. 5. Repeat several times. 6. Finish with the cleansing breath. This exercise may be performed without the use of a cane or a stick, by grasping an imaginary cane, using the will to exert the pressure. The exercise is the favorite yogi plan of stimulating the circulation by driving the arterial blood to the extremities and drawing back the venous blood to the heart and lungs that it may take up the oxygen which has been inhaled with the air. In cases of poor circulation, there is not enough blood in the lungs to absorb the increased amount of oxygen inhaled, and the system does not get the full benefit of the improved breathing. In such cases particularly, it is well to practice this exercise occasionally with the regular complete breathing exercise. End of chapter.